Hi guys, thanks for being here today. I want to talk about a new little project that I always wanted to make uh, for my Bosch router. The idea is to make uh, a jig to cut circle. Something very common, I know that YouTube is already soaked with the video about those things, but uh, uh, I wanted to do something different and uh, I'm gonna use this aluminum profile. Super straight, super easy to adjust. So let's see if it works. Likely, this is a one inch extruded aluminum profile and those two pins fits magically within the slots. There is a little gap, tiny one, but not a big problem. I think it's gonna work even better if you guys have the metric version of this uh, one inch or 25 millimeters. The beauty is that uh, this is uh, stable and straight. The other thing that I notice is that this threaded hole is uh, for an M6. If you guys have the M5, it will work. I couldn't find any M5, so I bought uh, this is a number 10 and it fits perfectly without damaging the original thread. Okay, what I'm gonna do is to use this bolt that will be used from the inside to retain the guide and uh, using these two feet I can cut up to four feet uh, diameter. So it's a fairly decent size for, uh, for the kind of projects uh, I'm going to make. Looking at the profile, first option is to thread the hole here, but it's not gonna work because as you can see, there is gap. So the thing doesn't work. Another option is to use a classic nut, a regular nut, but of course you have to machine the size of the nut inside the profile. What I'm trying to do is to use this insert classic regular insert and uh, notice that uh, is exactly 10 millimeters double check nine millimeters exactly nine millimeters so this is a nine and uh, nine point four. I'm gonna remove all the material here. I wanna show you insert and it should go in here all the way down. Okay, um, meanwhile the resin is curing, um, I've been trying to find uh, a material that has almost the same thickness as uh, base is a quarter inch uh, thick, 6.4 millimeters. So we got one, two, three, and four. This looks better, yeah. Here it is. OK, 
Okay, so I sand it down. I also filled a couple of holes because I'm trying to make this from out of uh, scrap wood. So as you can see, this is the thin material that will go at the bottom where the nail or the center of the circumference will go. I just have to measure the center point. This is one and three quarter, so it's seven eight. I would say seven eight and probably one inch from the end, just to have an easy number. So this is the bottom, go like this, this is the side one, side two, So here we are, as you can see, it's all dry, the resin is solid, it's kind of ugly because I struggle a little bit by myself to square the four pieces, but it doesn't really matter because now I'm going to sand the, the, all the surfaces. The idea is of course drill a hole here in the center, so I will use this handle as a, a brake. So now, if I'm correct, we are here, okay, you guys can see, and I have to drill exactly at a half inch, half inch plus, this is this, okay, I'm gonna pre-drill. Try a sort of dry fitting first. Yeah, difficult to slide. There is some resin attached to the wall here. Well, so what I'm gonna do is very tight. Hmm. So. Here, like this is lights, and when you secure it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Beautiful, nice. Okay, so here we are. This the powder. This is with the threaded insert. 
uh, it's been sitting for a few days so I'm sure it's nice and dry Voilà. Nice and rigid, beautiful. As you can see, the pin from the router base goes exactly in the slot of the one inch on one side and the other side here with no clearance. Awesome coincidence. And the screw and the screw in here, I don't know if you can see it, does not touch any bit or anything because it's far away and has already been used by, by bot for the attachment. It's gonna be good. Now we need the brake, the hand brake. This is the result. Now I'm gonna set my caliper at the maximum distance it can reach, which is eight inches in my case. I have this centering pin from Lee Valley. Uh, any sort of any drill bit or anything sharp that fits uh, in the router would be fine even if you have any cnc bit it's it's plenty or for example i have this uh, v groove it works just fine this is exactly eight inches hope you guys can see My 8 inches tag will be right here, where I have the flat surface, of course. I can move it. This is the eight inches mark. Okay. Actually, I end up to 26 9 16th of an inch. Here it is. Very simple, precise, rigid. center of the nail is at 30 seconds from the aluminum profile. 
which is exactly this gap. 